Hey everybody, Radam here. Thanks for tuning in to Star Sector. So, last we left off, I have been outfitting the Doom. Uh, but I just wanted to say a few things before I continue. One, Ozian mentioned that I should install Graphics Lib and Magic Lib, which are both mods for Star Sector. All they do is they add in some graphical effects, improving the look of the game. They're 100% cosmetic, and if you're interested, I'll link them in the description. Uh, and then another one is that the Doom that I have here is really supposed to be sort of a missile ship. Uh, and I'm totally not treating it like a missile ship. Um, so the bread and butter of the Doom, in my opinion at least, is it can sneak up behind uh, large enemy ships and just sort of uh, missile them to death really, really, really quickly. Um, the issue, of course, is I kind of hate missiles. <laughs> So, the net result is that uh, I'm probably not going to use the Doom for long term, but I do want to highlight its power. So, one thing I'm going to do here is strip off some parts uh, from other ships here, like Gaze Into the Void here. I'm going to take the railguns, uh, but I will give the Salamanders uh, back uh, so it has missiles. Um, and I want those railguns for myself. So, these small universal hardpoints... Uh, Railguns are one of the hardest hitting weapons that you can install on these little hard points. Um, but I don't want to go shopping around for them because they're kind of rare. Uh, and then also the burst PD lasers that um, the Apogee has are some of the best uh, point defense that you can get. But uh, I'm probably not going to strip them off a glitch because I've got these LR PD lasers. They're not great, but they're okay. Uh, now, in terms of the torpedoes that I want, uh, I don't see them here. But the other thing is, uh, the Robinator here is missing a whole lot of components. So for now, although it's not ideal, I'm just going to slap on a bunch of uh, machine light machine gun turrets. And then uh, it'll be an IOU for later. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of the other ships here... Um, are uh, they are not properly outfitted luckily the captains that are in them keep them rolling but yeah all right so the next thing i want to do is to hop around this system here to see if i can't find a better harpoon or amram pod or something some sort of missile to put on the front to make the doom worth using so the the issue here is that the missiles that hit the hardest, the ones that are particularly ideal for taking down huge ships, also have very limited ammo. The reason why I don't like missiles is you run out of ammo, and that kind of sucks. Uh, so these Harpoon MRM pods are really good finishers. They do a lot of damage, so that's probably what I'm going to slap on here. Uh, I think I'm going to ditch the augmented field drive, Meaning that I'm going to, if I want to move at top speed, uh, I'm going to need a tug. So they have two harpoon and marine pods. Okay, so this is a reasonably outfitted um, ship at this point. Let's go to weapon groups. So the MRM pods are going to be my first. Uh, let's put all the PDs on five. The gravitons on four and put them on auto. The MRM pods, um, maybe one and two. And then all the railguns on three. I want the harpoons to be fired separately. Uh, so basically I can control if and when they're firing. Um, I don't probably need a dedicated targeting core. In fact, uh, I think the integrated targeting unit would be better anyway. Uh, so one thing I could do to this ship is I have a limited ammo of 12 for these harpoon MRM pods. What I'm going to do is roll around with 12, and then if I feel like I need more, I can always re-outfit the ship here uh, for expanded missile racks. Alternatively, uh, as a front gun here, the um, antimatter blasters are also pretty good. But, uh, again, don't have them on hand uh, necessarily. Okay, so we've... Robinator, is there something better here? 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about the other ships here. So, uh, let's go ahead and use this ship now that I've uh, set it up. So, we can fire the harpoons individually. I can also fire the railguns. The reason for the railguns, the graviton beams are really good against shields, uh, but they're not going to take down the shields of huge ships. The, um, the railguns here are pretty good against shields as well. Uh, so between those two, we should be able to take on ship uh, shields decently, and then the harpoon MRM pods are really good against armor. They're high explosive. All right, so we want, what do we want? Bounties. We want to use um, our weapons, and I wouldn't mind heading towards Rama. So here we are. This is uh, Epsilon Hufra. Has a little bounty for a Ludic Path base. That would be a good place to use the Doom. Maybe the Doom will grow on me. My only worry is that I like sustained fights. I like long fights. I like to keep one ship in a fight for a very long time. Which means... Um, which means missile-based weapons that have limited ammo, ammo are not my style. Now, alternatively, what I could do is uh, have, like, two identical... I mean, it would be a little silly, but have two identical dooms, and then when I run out of ammo on one, I, like, retreat, and then uh, re-enter the fight with another. But, like, totally silly. I mean, that is unnecessary. All right, so we've got a big old Luddit Path uh, armada here. Let's go and engage them. This is a great way to uh, to test out... Oh, and we have enough deployment for all the good stuff. So what I'm going to do is have both legions follow the uh, Paragon. And the Paragon is going to go... Uh, let's go straight up into the nav buoy here. So here's what the Doom fights like. I've, I've got these railguns. They're not going to flux me too bad. I've got these graviton beams. I've got point defense lasers that can act as attack and then I have the MRM I have a harpoon MRM pods um, when I right click I phase out and time sort of slows down it's like bullet time um, and then what ends up happening is my top speed although 90 I can probably catch ships almost twice my speed because of the bullet time uh, and then my special ability is a mine strike I basically teleport mines in wherever I want which is pretty cool. So this ship is designed solely to be hit and run. Um, so here is an example of the mine strikes. The mine strikes are used mostly to sort of soften up um, targets. I also don't have any shields. There is not a single shield anywhere on this ship. I phase instead of shield. So if I want to kill this hammerhead, I could teleport mines in next to him and pop he goes. And I have an unlimited amount of mines. So mines are really, really useful to um, take out the weaker ships, like these Colossus. And when I'm phased, I can totally teleport around the map, um, go through ships and all that jazz. So right now, I'm just trying to soften up their, uh, actually, let's, let's make a play for their, uh, their, their big ship here. Alright, I'm putting some mines around it. I think this ship is pretty dead. I'm gonna use my MRMs. Fire them off. Now, they're being intercepted. But that's okay. I've done enough damage to that ship there that I don't think it's going to be doing so hot. Once I get overwhelmed by missiles, I could just sort of get out of dodge. Now, using the Mind Strike uh, does take a fair bit of flux. Uh, this ship is all about 
managing flux, basically. I also probably should lock targets on what I intend to, um... what I intend to, uh, to missile strike. So I only have one shot left on each pod. But, uh, their, their big ship is dead. And then here is the example of sort of the sneaking that you can do. So this Colossus here, not that it's hard to kill a Colossus, but it totally is not looking at me. I could come in behind it, drop some MRN torpedoes, and it's gone. And that's the real power of the Doom. And uh, the harder the torpedoes, the better. I now have no torpedoes left, so I can rely on my Mind Strikes. Which, as you can see, can be pretty situationally powerful. But in a sustained, uh, like, fist fight like this, uh, this is not the Doom's bread and butter. It is a ambush ship. Uh, because I have no shields, uh, I rely on good point defense and phasing to keep myself out of trouble. Uh... and the Mind Strikes. It's strong. Uh, I'm probably not playing it the best it can be, uh, given my aversion to missiles, but uh, with that said, um, I'll still use it for a uh, episode or two to highlight its strengths. Alright, so they are defeated, but, uh... The mines... Oop, let's not teleport inside of a hall. The mines, uh, roughly teleport in where your cursor is when you call them in. Now, luckily, the Doom has some pretty decent armor. Um... Alright, let's see if I can catch this thing while phased. So, as you can see here, I'm moving at, uh, 90. This ship is moving at 240, and I think I am, I'm actually catching up unless it's going backwards. Uh, and this is because I phased. So as you can see, the range here is closing. I don't know it's... Yeah. But it costs me a lot of flux. Uh, it's, pro it's properly retreated now. So, one thing to do on your Doom is, uh, I'm going to let them go. I don't want your ships. Silly Ludic Path. Uh, you can either specialize in flux capacity or flux uh, venting um, if you want sustained phasing or quick aggressive phasing. I'm going to break down all of their stuff to salvage. So I don't really care about the benefits. And let's go blow up their hold here. I'm not going to pick all the ships. I don't need them all. Another thing that the uh, uh, that the ship here does well is blow up bases because I can phase around and I'm just hard to catch up. Uh, if you're wondering what these tags here are, it is sort of um, markers indicating the ship class. Uh, that is one of the mods that I've added. 
again, going to be linked. All right, I'm just gonna put the Paragon between me and those fighters. Fighters is not really the uh, strong point of the Doom. Although with the beams, I can blow them up pretty decently. All right, so this is a three-sided base. There's not gonna be a weak way in. But it's possible to uh, stack my strike mines to uh, to sort of whittle down. Yep, they're almost out flux here. And now that the shields are down and it's overloaded, I'm gonna use my missiles and this side is just a, yep, there it goes. As you can see in a just straight up regular fight there, I can barely take out like teeny little frigates. It's really not what uh, this ship is designed to do. Oops, I had the wrong ship targeted, so now my harpoons are going the wrong way. Ow. Alright, let's get out of the range of fire here. No shields makes it very, very difficult to... Uh, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a base. Foolish, in fact. I, it's not a good idea. All right, let's get, uh, let's get behind and vent. Now, at some point, what I might end up doing is I might end up just using a Paragon or something like that if I can outfit it the way I like. Um, all right, let's... Some mines in. Go away, missile. Missiles that don't track very effectively are really, really easy to uh, just phase around and not have to worry about. Oop, but don't let it phase into your hull. Ouch. Alright, well I've no I have only one MRM harpoon MRM shot left. Let's see if I can't make it count. I'm gonna actually gonna go to the blind side of this base. Let's just phase on right through it. Nope. <laughs> All those fighters about to dump a whole lot of flares and ordinances on me. I don't think so. Yeah, I see my flux slowly climbing. Here we go. Uh, all you attack the station. Oh, I gave orders and it forced my uh, last of my MRMs to fire off. So now I am without. Uh... Oh, that was a good hit. Now I'm without missiles. Chief example of why I don't love missiles. Uh, Mr. Smuggler, actually, you get to cover. I brought you to level up, but that is not a ship that should see combat. Alright, the mine strikes are still going to be pretty useful. But uh, now that I'm out of um, rockets, uh, the vast majority of my combat strength is gone. Alright, 
the Paragon's about to cook this, uh... This base here. Come on, just get it. Those mind strikes almost fluxed it, Max, and it's gone. Let's see if I can even take out a brawler without my uh, without missiles. <laughs> it might actually be a challenge. Ah, oh, no, the focused graviton. Still pretty hard for a small ship to survive. All right, let's claim victory. I spent long enough attacking that little base. Alright, there we go. Leveled up. Some of the fleet leveled up as well. Before I go anywhere, I want to salvage the pants off of the... Uh... Oh, someone's targeting me. There we go. Alright, character. Uh, another thing I want is... Flagships with a ship officer in command are nearly guaranteed to be recovered if lost. That sounds really good to me. And fleet strength. Who level? Oh, you leveled up. Here we go. Monday. Better target analysis and rows. Ah, I don't like those two choices, but uh, I'll go with the less offensive defensive systems. All right, well, there is that bounty. Uh, let's see what else, what other kind of money we could get. Uh, so here's another one. The Luddock Church wants me to kill this thing. Uh, this Tritachion bounty is tempting, but I don't know how good I'm going to be against a ton of Heron class attackers. Oh, but this one's much worse. Alright, so the problem is, yeah, I could go against this base, but um, it's protected by a crazy strong fleet, so I gotta be careful. I don't wanna go into that giant ballistic fleet. That would get me killed. But the pirate base shouldn't be that bad. And the fleet is waiting on the other side of these uh, gravity wells. Alright, so there's the pirate base. Let's give it a deploy all. I'll roll solo. Alright, because I have no shields and this is a high-tech base, it is going to be challenging for me to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it. Because the beams are sort of instant, I can't really phase through them. So I'll just wait for the Paragon to take most of the heat. Oh, Paragon's actually using Fortress Shields. It's its uh, special ability. It's like shields that at no cost, or very little cost. All right, there aren't really large capital ships or anything like that protecting this uh, base here, so not much of a need for um, for doom. So I'll just set off a bunch of mines around and yeah, it worked. Just sort of thin out the crowds.
Well placed mind strike can be really devastating as you can see. Oh, there we go. Case and the point. All right, I just launched my uh, harpoons at the Colossus. Let's see if that uh, has any effect. Colossus nearly died. Colossus is a sneeze away from death. Um, the gaze into the void is really in the hot zone here. I'm gonna have him back up. He really doesn't have a right to be that close. He's blocking the Paragon from Paragoning. Which is dumb. Let the battleship do battle. Yo, I told you, disengage. Ah, uh, he's just kind of... They don't perfectly listen to you all every time, so... Enjoy the mines. Crunch. All right, so there is a small opportunity to just wipe this mule out. Let's get some MRMs launched. Because the Doom isn't particularly amazing at taking out um, stations, I'm just sort of give myself the job of crowd control. Oh boy, that station really focus firing me. Let's get out of that barrage. I'll just hide behind the, uh, the broken mule. Sorry, Shrike. Just wrong place, wrong time. Oh, you got out of that quick. I don't like being the uh, the target of this station. Let me hide behind something. In fact, let me uh, drop some mines on the station. I'm tired of getting shot by it. Eat mines, buddy. I gotta be careful because these mines could potentially do friendly fire. So don't just drop them willy nilly. Alright, so this is the last active section. going to phase on this other side and oh actually is this yeah no this is the last action section oh those yep there it goes strike mines ruined it the larger and more cumbersome the object and the more their uh, point defense are busy the easier it is to just absolutely annihilate with strike mines. And the graviton beams help to overwhelm the flux of my uh, my target ships, which gives them fewer options as to how to defend themselves. Alright, we're just on crowd control cleanup here. Imagine being these teeny little ships and just having mines like teleport on top of you and how messed up that would be. <laughs> Reminds me of Stargate when they uh, were teleporting uh, teleporting tactical nukes onto enemy ships. It's like, oh, happy birthday. Enjoy your nuke. All right, I'm probably not going to get to this uh, wolf before it... Uh Ports, of what? Ports out. Ah, maybe it can. Oh, 
plot. All right, let's claim victory. And I'm not going to salvage anything. Don't really care. I was here for the bounty. Now, I also have to keep in mind that um, that super fleet bounty could be here in this system, so I shouldn't hang around for too long uh, and be ready to get out of dodge if that super fleet does, in fact, show up. Um, what about... Yeah, because I, I can't take this out. That's scary. Uh, all right, so there's another pirate base location. Uh, it is in the... Azathe, whatever it's called. It's in this black hole system somewhere. I have enough money. I just made a lot of money. So let's invest it. Something in our colonies. So let's take a look at Livoetta here. Livoetta, I am going to upgrade your orbital station to tier two. Very expensive. Uh, so what that's going to do is it's going to... Oh, I'm going to take your nav buoy. I'm actually, you know what, I'm not going to do the, the new bounty just yet. I'm just about full up on um, stuff. Uh, ooh, 20k. That's what I'm earning. I'm just about full up on stuff. Oh, pirate activity Rama. So I'm going to also have to attend to that. Another thing I didn't do is... Um, I like I like this Doom, but... I'll take a look at refitting it. I don't know about these uh, about these rail guns. Maybe I keep them. Who knows? We'll see. But I do know that I need to refit a lot of other things too. I also need a tug. Um, a tug is like a tugboat ship that makes your ships a little faster. Because right now my max speed is 18 on sustained burn. Because uh, the Doom here, I don't have a dedicated engine, or, uh, engine core, rather. Mod installed on it. Alright, Black Market. That is a lot of metal. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna Black Market this metal, but, uh, let me look to refit. So, if I don't like these railguns, what can I replace them with? Um, Salamander MRMs would be funny, but I don't really want funny. Swarmers. No, there's not a whole lot else to put in here. Now, one way to do it, if you really want to fully dedicate to um, to be in a missile ship, is you could toss in uh, uh, you could toss in like Reaper um, missiles, and uh, but th that would that would definitely make your your ship sort of a single use. I mean, it's entirely up to you. Um, <laughs> Let's go figure out the pirate activity that uh, home is facing. I'm gonna take one last crack at the refit. So I've been using the harpoon MRM, but it's really three shots. It has limited ammo because it because sh er, it shoots four at once. Um, alternatively, I could put pylum in. Uh, yeah, I could just pile them up. It'd be weird, but at least there's not like a, the damage is a little bit lower, but there's not like a limited amount of fire. And that way I don't run out of ammo and I'm rendered useless by the end of the fight. Hmm, damage per second 300, damage per second 100. I could also uh, pulse laser. I'd have to get nice and close to hit him with pulse lasers, but... We'll see if I like the pulse lasers versus the... Um, uh, versus the gravitons. Alright, so let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to sell off what I'm not using. 
Except for the graviton, or the uh, two graviton beams. I'm going to keep them in case I want them. Alright, so there is a pirate activity back home. Oh, right, I haven't done that tech cache either. Colony threats. Pirate activity, lowering the accessibility and the stability. Still haven't gotten a tug ship. Should keep my eye out. I don't know. Maybe I'll do an engine core. I haven't really decided. I do have a pretty big fleet that could benefit from tug ship. So what it does is it acts. Uh, it, it increases the speed of your fleet uh, by one using a lot of fuel. Um, which is good for large fleets. Not so useful for small fleets. So I have a lot of weapons in store here, so I might be able to refit. Yeah, I can put another pod in there. Uh, yeah, so you could just toss like a Reaper torpedo and that could shred one ship, but then after shooting the, that one ship, uh, you're kind of done. Uh, phase lances would be another Good weapon to put in as well. Our pulse Okay, yeah. I think I'm done re-outfitting this. Uh, so I'm going to put the pulse lasers on one and the pylums on two, leaving three and four for the railguns and PDs. I do three, four, five. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, for now, I'm going to just do the f drive, but I'm going to seriously consider, um, are these beams? Yeah, right? All right. I could just do, uh, I could, no, I'll, I'll keep indicate. Okay. That's enough tinkering. What about my other ships? Some of these have really terrible missiles and fighters, but I don't know, whatever. All right, Dockside Bar, discover the location of the pirate base. So the pirate base is here. Let's go chase that down. And then uh, once I've made home a little bit more stable, uh, yeah, they've captured my nav buoy. Uh, once I've made home a little bit more stable, we'll go bounty hunt again. There's so much more uh, colony upgrades that need to be done. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I like I like moving fast. All right, so I don't know the exact location, but we'll figure it out. Somewhere around here. I think it is right here because there's activity pop it up on my screens yep all right the smuggler ship hang back and everyone else go forward so the pylum have a lot more ammo And then I have these, whoa, hello, beam, excuse you. I, don't, I can't even, <laughs> that's funny. I can almost not even see the pirate base here and it's still beaming me. Uh, but it looks to be a one-sided, which means I'll get up to its blind side here.
see how good I can ambush this thing. This is pretty weak pirate base, so I should be able to just run house on it. The other issue is, of course, the Doom, although strong, takes a while to do everything. Because it's bread and butter ability is slowing down time, which is just time consuming. Yeah, the Pylum um, gives me more shots, but it's not great for the Doom because it um, the missiles move so so very very slow. All right, we've softened this thing up. Going in for my version of a kill. I know. I mean, the pylum's connected. I think against capital class ships, the biggest battle cruisers and battle carriers, uh, the pylum will be okay. It won't be great though. I know that. I figured I'm sitting right here. There's a, a world to survey, albeit a barren one. Might as well survey it. All right, I'm gonna break down their um, their stuff for parts. Their deployed installations. So, pilot pirate fleet, you're not gonna fight me. You're way too small. Because this had ruins, but I probably, yeah, I've already surveyed it. All right, let's pop on out of here. Uh, additionally, we got some people that leveled up. So Rose and Vredog. All right, so colony threat should be over. Uh, I have a tech cache. There's a teeny, oh god, that's so easy to do. Well, I mean, it's on my way to everything else. Might as well hit that up. Teeny little bounty on this dude. 50k bounty, but hey, I mean, money is money, right? And I'll, I'll quickly do this bounty, and that's probably the last thing I'm going to be doing this episode. So, I might not want to keep the, um, no, the Doom long term. I'm just not very good at it. Are you... Crow Volcanic World in a giant primary star. Alright, Gream. Is he in Gream? Uh, give me my map. Crow Volcanic. Frozen, Frozen, Baron, Baron. No, he's not in Gream. Giant primary star? So he's probably in this place. Yeah, there he is. should be right here oh that's not what I meant to do survey okay maybe there's another crowd volcanic world there's not one here but um, giant primary star so this is a super oh that's a super giant uh, gamma Huffra would have to be the last place. Yeah, there's a crowd volcanic here too. Well, okie dokie then. It is a good day to bounty hunt. I'm just gonna let my second in command win this quick.
They don't even want to fight me, they're so small. Alright, do your emergency burn, doesn't really matter. Pursue, second in command. I don't want your little ships. Oh, second in command, didn't even kill the dude. Oh, don't fly into the star, dude. Even an emergency burn, they're more maneuverable, but they're slower. Alright, their burn's over. Come on. There we go. Now it's E burn versus E burn. I'll go catch up. Unless I stop. Oh god, this is so infuriating. Nope. Just stop, stupid little bounty. Should not have trusted the second in command. There we go. Pursue, second in command. I'm gonna trust him this time. There we go. We've killed him. What a waste of my time. Um, all right, guys. Well, that's about all the time I've got for today. I hope you enjoyed my floundering around with the Doom. I don't know. I made it work. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, drop me a line. I do hope that you tune in next time. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you all later. Adios.